Hello, family. Welcome back to Ugly Beauty Podcast. I am Tanya Kent, your host. Today's topic is called inadequacy. Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I am Tanya, and today I decrease so you can increase. My life is not my own. I belong to you. Holy Spirit, have your way in and through me. In Jesus' name, amen. We will be looking at the definition of inadequacy. This is what it says. The condition of being not enough or not good enough. Oh, help us, Jesus. Many of us, regardless of who we are or what we have, battle with the word inadequacy from time to time. Do you agree? Drop your comments below. To begin, did you know that emotions of inadequacy can be traced back to childhood events? Let's look at some of those causes of inadequacy, such as having two criticizing parents, unkind classmates, and shaming authority figures. Amen. Let's talk about what that feels like when you have two criticizing parents. Although I can't relate to my parents criticizing me because I wasn't raised by them. I did have a loving grandmother who cared for me deeply. On the other hand, I did have a family member who criticized me often. During my young adult years, he planted seeds of defeat. He assured me that I would not be nothing. He predicted that I would end up like the other women in my family who would only have children and be on welfare. To be honest, I did have four children and I was on welfare for a short period of time. Looking back now, I don't believe it was done on purpose, the words that he spoke over my life. In other words, he was trying to imply that it is better that I didn't have as many as kids and be lazy. But I have to add, those seeds of defeat were exactly what drove me to success and to do everything I could to ensure I didn't end up on assistance for a long time. But to be honest, the ugliness of what I did to illustrate a point kept me away from my children for long hours out of the day. Unfortunately, although being married, I was still single and in charge of the household. If you can relate, please let me know in the comments section below. I'll move on to my next point which is about a humiliating authority figure I had in my life. A perfect storm of how the enemy used one thing that led to another. When I was in high school, I asked a critical question about science and the professor scolded me and said that was a dumb question. That led to the unkind classmates laughing at me. The shame I felt brought me to tears. Ladies and gentlemen, remember that there are no dumb questions, so ask away. Know that you are in the image of God who created you. Many of us may not have had the opportunities to engage in positive, challenging experiences that help us build our concepts of skills and make us feel like we are enough. In God's eyes, we are enough. Take a few minutes to share your experience in the comments below. Inadequacy likes to pop up every now and again in my conversations. How about you? Let me share why it pops up in my conversations every now and again. Because of the past belief that I wasn't worthy to amount to anything, as well as the fact that I was diagnosed with dyslexia, 
had a huge impact on my self-perception. Can you say, but God? Yes, but God. Hallelujah. Even in the middle of our despair, God addresses us as his son or daughter. We sin, we make mistakes, and sometimes stray away from God's purpose for our lives. God, on the other hand, never stopped loving us despite our failures. He sees us as completely capable individuals that he constantly lifts up as his own. That is a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, God. In Genesis 3, 6, and 7, in the same way, Abraham believed God and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. Verse 7, the real children of Abraham then are those who put their faith in God. Amen. Do you believe God when he says, I love you unconditionally? As he claims, look at what his word says in Isaiah 43 and verse 4. Because you are precious in my sight, you are honored and I love you. I will give other men in return for you and other peoples in exchange for your life. Wow, I had a moment with God after reading this scripture. I needed to get this scripture in my heart. So I repeat it again. Because you are precious in my sight, you are honored and I love you. I will give other men in return for you and other peoples in exchange for your life. Let us recognize what he is saying. That is is unconditional love. Amen. Let's talk about some other inadequacies such as anxiety, self-criticism, trust, low self-worth, perception of failure, fear of rejection, the inability to accept praise, feelings of powerlessness, and leadership pressure. Wow. I can certainly speak to a couple of those inadequacies. I just mentioned that inadequacy creeps up in my life from time to time. The first inadequacy I would like to address is self-criticism. I was having a conversation with a friend whom I hadn't spoken with in years. He had made a comment on my headshot that is on the back of my book, Radical Woman. He said, Tanya, you are beautiful. Here I go with my ugly thoughts about myself saying, I don't like that photo because of my hair. He continues to say, Tanya, you are beautiful no matter how you wear your hair. The unwillingness to accept praise is the second shortcoming that comes to mind for me. He's telling me that I'm beautiful and I'm ratting about how I don't like my hair. But after he stated it a second time that I was beautiful, it dawned on me that he wasn't talking about my outward beauty. He was talking about my heart. How many of you know that beauty doesn't comes from the outward appearance as we spoke about in Going Deeper Part 2? It's my heart that is beautiful and it overflows on the outward appearance. I am relieved that I was able to recognize my annoying thinking. If you are experiencing ugly thoughts about yourself, let's have a dialogue together so that we can both be set free of our stinking thinking. Remember, God doesn't see us the way we see ourselves. Amen. This is Tanya Kent, your host. I encourage you to read the full scriptures I mentioned in this podcast. If you can relate and would like to share on the Ugly Beauty Podcast, please email us at uglybeautypodcast at gmail.com. Amen.